so they've given me this uh, question and uh, <clears throat> let us see like uh, they've asked us based on the dipole moment let us see the question why does bf3 possess zero dipole moment compared to nh3 so now this is your bf3 structure this is your ammonia structure correct yes so bf3 structure uh, if i say speak uh, in terms of the electronegativity here <coughs> Uh, fluorine or uh, uh, the electronegativity is 4 correct now here hydrogen the electronegativity is 2.2 2.2 nitrogen electronegativity negativity is almost 3 okay. yes now boron electronegativity is you know it is around around 2 i'm just not specifically saying 2 2 2.3 or something now though there is lot of now look here here the electronegativity difference is very less but then too it has dipole here the electronegativity difference is more but then too it has zero dipole that is what they are ask, trying to ask you let us start now here what happened when we see the structure of the molecule or geometry of the molecule yeah <coughs> this is dragged by this fluorine this is dragged by this fluorine this is dragged by this fluorine isn't it now observe according to parallelogram law of forces yeah what happened the resultant now the resultant of these two is equal and opposite to the third one that is what is your parallelogram law yes now the resultant what is it uh, because of this what is the resultant this is the resultant of Na2 is equal and opposite to the third one so these two gets cancelled with this yes am I getting so according to parallelo parallelogram law of forces what should you write resultant of any two of two any two is equal and opposite to the third one to the third one so these two opposite to the third one so this gets cancelled and finally mu becomes zero yes but in this case what's happening yeah this is dragging so the, these electrons are dragged towards the electronegative nitrogen atom this is also dragged this is also dragged so the whole again you have a lone pair of electron the whole electron density is dragged towards nitrogen and hence it poses 1.49 almost 1.49 d by uh, value d by huckel no d by value of um, dipole moment with that so here there is the geometry of the basically the geometry of the shape is deciding the uh, dipole moment that is what i said in applications geometry decides the dipole moment here it is in this geometry dipole moment has become zero but here it is in this geometry here also we have three high, three atoms here also we have three atoms but because of the shape of the molecule the dipole has completely changed giving this a structure of uh, the bond angle what is the bond angle here almost 107 degrees it's giving a particular bond angle. it's giving a particular geometry to that so this is how you're going to explain the structure and finally finish off the answer so because of the parallelogram law of forces this has attained this law and here nothing difference in electronegativity though it is more because of the geometry so we will write though electronegativity difference is less because of geometry ammonia versus or it has mu is equal to 1.49 d this is it. this is how you want to answer